Hi guys, Tara Incognita here. I'm your Tuesday sub host for Sub Week. And the topic this week that we're discussing is Thanksgiving and gratitude within our practice. Okay, so pagans and secular holidays, some of us try to incorporate them into our practice. Some of us try to, you know, do it all. I don't really incorporate Thanksgiving into my practice. Um, personally, I have a hard time finding a balance between things. It's just the nature of my lifestyle, uh, especially with my business, when I'm working a million hours a week during four months out of the year and then just regular full-time hours the rest of the year. Um, it's, but I still, you know, I have to plan around certain deadlines every quarter, every year, every everything. Um, it makes it really hard for me personally when it comes to even just celebrating the pagan holidays and incorporating that into my life. Um, many times they get missed because of other things going on and I am still struggling to find that balance. So here I am going on almost three years, I think, as a pagan. I think it's almost three. I've kind of lost track now. And um, I still struggle with that all the time. And I, I know I'm not the only one because many of you have expressed it as well, um, which makes me feel a little bit better. I'm not the only one in the this club. Um, but it's really hard. And to try to suddenly, I mean, Paganism to me, it is a lifestyle and I am who I am all the time. So I don't necessarily have specific Thanksgiving rituals or things like that that are pagan, but, um, you know, a big part of my practice is expressing my gratitude and being thankful for the things I have. And so on Thanksgiving, that's just what I do. I'm just grateful. Um, you know, a lot of people protest Thanksgiving, uh, because of the Pilgrim Indian thing. And personally, I left that behind a long time ago. You know, we celebrate Thanksgiving based on the Pilgrim Indian thing in elementary school. We're doing all the crafts and drawing the turkeys out of our hands and all that kind of stuff. But when you leave elementary school, you don't really focus on that part of it anymore. At least in my experience, it's more about getting together with family, um, eating good food, and just spending that quality time together. And so I left the Pilgrim Indian thing or Native American thing behind like in fifth grade. Um, I haven't really spent too much time thinking about it since, except when other people bring it up. Um, Thanksgiving to me, it's just about being together, enjoying your family um, being grateful for the things that you have. And we have such precious little time with our extended families as we get older. Um, obviously we spend every day with our immediate families, but you know, to get the in-laws together and the cousins together and the, you know, all the little nieces and nephews and everybody. And sometimes even seeing your own brother or sister or mother or father to get all those people together. There's so precious few times that we have to do that as we get older, as we grow up and everybody gets their own lives. And so those moments to me are such a big deal. They're a big, big deal to me. Um, and so I'm just, I just feel blessed and grateful. And that is the extent of my Thanksgiving. So, um, I don't know. I'd love to hear what you guys do. If you do do rituals or whatnot, how you do find that balance, um, you know, just share your experiences, share your holiday information. I'd love to hear it. Post it in the comments below. And I can't wait to see what the other hosts have to say this week about it. Blessed be. I'll see you next time.